welcome. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to convert different units of time. For example, we can find things like how many minutes are in four hours, or how many minutes is equal to 2,280 seconds. We'll go through each of these problems. In order to do these, you're going to have to know some of the basic relationships. You don't necessarily have to memorize this, um, but you might want to find this in your folder and print it off. So 60 seconds is one minute, 60 minutes is one hour, 24 hours is one day, seven days is one week. Then for a year, we can measure a year in 52 weeks, 12 months, or 365 days. Let's look first at how we change from bigger units to smaller units. So we're going to compare the units we're given as well as the units we're changing to. If the given unit is a bigger measurement, we're going to multiply to get to the smaller units. Let's look at what that means. What I'm talking about is that this column is bigger than its pair on the left. So one minute is bigger than 60 seconds. A week is bigger than a day. So our first example is how many minutes are in four hours? I start by comparing hours and minutes. Hours is what I'm told four hours is bigger than minutes. So I know I'm going to multiply. Then I also need to remember the relationship between them. I know that 60 minutes is one hour. 60 minutes is one hour, but I want four hours. So I need to take four times 60. So four times 60 gives me 240 minutes. So that means 240 minutes is the same as four hours. And remember, you can use your calculator as you solve these. Let's look at a second example. Eight days is the same as how many hours? So I am given eight days. I want to convert those days into hours. So days is bigger than hours. So I'm going to multiply. Start by listing the relationship between days and hours. I know that 24 hours equals one day. So for eight days, I will take eight times 24. That's 192 and we're in hours. So eight days is equal to 192 hours.